Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about one of the best, if not the best, Android emulator for Windows 11. We're gonna talk about a free Android emulator for Windows 11, which is called LD Player. Well, LD Player is on the market for quite some time, but recently they released their new version, which is LD Player version 9. And some of the highlights of version 9 is that, first of all, they have a new engine, an Android 9 kernel. They also put efforts into optimizing the memory management and rendering, and they have the best compatibility with games and you have here a whole bunch of popular Android games listed. It is also optimized for demanding 64-bit games and you will see a significant improvement in FPS and stability. This is of course the better version but I've tested for quite some time and I can tell you that this is very very well optimized. Of course you're gonna have a link down below in the description where you can download it so just go ahead and download it and follow the next steps for installation. For the download just click on LD Player 9 and select the location where you want to be downloaded. We have the install here on the desktop. I'm just gonna double click on it to start the installation process. And this is how the setup looks. You can click on customize if you want to change the installation location. I'm gonna leave it as default and I'm gonna click on install now. What I can tell you is that LD Player is also very well optimized for low-end PCs. So if you're using Windows 11 or even Windows 10 on a low-end PC, LD Player is the Android emulator to get because it is very well optimized also for low-end PCs and PCs that cannot get high performance. I'm just gonna wait for the installation process to be finished and then I'm gonna show you the software. And after the installation process is finished, just click on try now to try out the Android emulator. This is how it looks at a first glance. Now it is loading as you can see here. And now we are booted up into the Android system. One thing that I want to state about this Android emulator is that it also has a very nice integration with APK files. So if you want to install an app from an APK file to test it out, just drag and drop it to LD player and it'll be automatically installed. I'm sure that some of you in the comments will say, well, Emmanuel, you recommended us installing and trying out the Windows subsystem for Android on Windows 11. Well, I did that, but that is still not officially launched. It's still not very stable. It doesn't have very nice integration with Google Play Store and APK files. As you saw, we had to do a lot of digging in order to install those. And for now, I think LD Player is the Android emulator to install. I'm just gonna click on some things here to see how it looks and how it feels. It feels really nice and very responsive you can just search for games of course here we have the google play store but of course we're gonna have to log in to the google play store in order to install a game you can also connect a controller to ld player and play with your controller that is also really nice and if you didn't notice here in the right side you have some buttons so first of all you have settings if you click on settings you have a lot of things that you can customize you can change the cpu the ram the resolution to your tablet model you have also game settings you can also go to a higher frame rate if your PC allows it. Of course, you have audio settings, network, and so on. You also have the option to use keyboard mapping, of course, volume up, volume down. You have full screen, you have operation recorder, you have multi LD player, so you can open multiple instances of LD player at the same time. You can install an APK, of course, you can do a screenshot, you can video record, you can synchronize, you can shake, you can use the shared folders, virtual GPS, and also you can rotate the screen if you want. Now, I'm just gonna log into the Google Google Play Store and then we're gonna install something to see how it works. So now we are logged in into Google Play and we can search for a game to install. So for example, I'm gonna install Brawl Stars. Of course, I'm gonna play because this is not the, the channel for gaming, but I'm gonna install it, open it a bit to see how it works, how it moves. And in my opinion, this is really nice. I've tested multiple Android emulators before, but this is a lot less buggy and it has a very nice performance as it is optimized for memory management. So if I were to click on play, of course, you can see I have a key map tip press F11 to display it at any time in the game I'm gonna confirm and let's see how the game looks as you can see this is the game we are logging in successfully to the game and we have it here it is really really responsive really nice you can use my keyboard to play of course and this is uh, this is really nice of course I'm not gonna play anymore I just wanted to show you how this works but let's for example do a screenshot so you can see how the screenshot feature works and as you can see after I clicked on the screenshot button I received this notification with the screenshot saved and if I go into home and I drag and drop to see the notifications, I see here the screenshot that is saved. I can click on it in order to see it. And of course, I can even edit it and stuff like that. So I think this is all there is to it to LD Player. I strongly recommend you try it out. Download it from the link in the description. This video is not sponsored by LD Player. Keep that in mind. I've tried it myself for quite a while and I strongly recommend you try it if you want to test out certain things in certain configurations. It is really simple to switch between those. And I think this is the Android emulator to install for 
now in Windows 11. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.